So the most ridiculous law has to do with unlocking smartphones. Apparently the Library of Congress uh, re released a uh, new law uh, that no one really knew anything about. It's not like Congress voted on this. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this law would basically penalize anyone who unlocks their smartphone in order to change cell phone carriers, <laughs> right? So let's say you're with AT&T and you decide, you know what, I want to switch over to Verizon, but I have my iPhone. Um, I'm going to unlock my iPhone so I can then use it with Verizon services. You used to be able to do that legally, but now it is considered illegal. Mm -hmm. And uh, now there is a petition going around and the petition is asking to uh, change this law so it will no longer be illegal. But just to give you guys a sense of what uh, the advisory says. It says, uh, by, by decree of the Librarian of Congress, it shall henceforth be ordered that Americans shall not unlock their own smartphones. Here's the penalty. In some situations, first-time offenders may be fined up to $500,000, imprisoned for five years or both. Wow. For repeat offenders, the maximum penalty increases to a fine of $1 million, imprisonment for up to 10 years or both. Now, of course, people who see that will automatically make the argument that, look, I'm sure that there will be a penalty, I'm sure there will be a fine, but no one's gonna get the maximum sentence. Sure, maybe that's a decent argument, but at the same time, why are we allowing people who weren't elected uh, you know, unelected bureaucrats to make these ridiculous draconian laws. Absolutely. I think, especially, you know, here's an argument actually for conservatives, because if they're so up in arms, as you say, um, with unelected bureaucrats um, deciding on regulations that could have consequences on businesses financially, then they need to be up in arms about unelected bureaucrats who are going to be deciding what um, should be a law and how you will be penalized by either fines or going to jail. And here's the thing laws that can place people in jail should be passed by Congress, I not know. by the degree of the librarian of Congress. It's a little crazy, and I love that there is a lot of pushback against this new mm -hmm. law, and I really do believe that something will change as long as people continue to make a big brouhaha about right. it. But at the same time, another really important thing to keep in mind is, what do you do when you get any type of cell phone service. You pay hundreds of dollars to buy a phone. That is your private property. Right. Why are you not allowed to use it with a different carrier? That's so frustrating. It's true because yes, you pay a lot of money for these smartphones and then if your contract's up or you know, if you want to make the, the, the choice to pay the penalty to end your contract early, that's up to you. You paid, the, you paid for the phone. You paid the penalty. You should be able to switch carriers. And you know, what's interesting too, like Okay, so let's say that they enforce this, even if you're in jail for, for a month or in prison for uh, a few weeks. That's ridiculous. I mean, what are you going to say to the other inmates when they ask you, why are you in here? Oh, I uh, unlocked my smartphone because I didn't want to switch carriers. That's crazy. And it also shows you where the priorities are, mm -hmm. right? When you have real thieves in the country, when you have uh, bankers and individuals on Wall Street basically rigging our entire system and really destroying our economy, there are very little consequences for them. Right. But if you happen to unlock something that you spent $100 on so you can switch cell phone carriers, all of a sudden you could be slapped with a $500,000 fine yeah. and five years in prison. I know, it's the same It's the same thing with, um, if you have like a legally owned DVD, if you were to convert that on your computer to a playable movie, same thing. Yeah. You know, you can get fined and you can go to jail. It's, it's incredible. We have some weird priorities here in the mm -hmm. United States.